y'all, and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith, and for today's video, I'm going to give you one last summer recipe because summer is coming to an end. It's already September. I can't believe that. And the weather is changing. It's starting to feel a little more like fall every day here. I'm so excited for that. Today, we're going to be making s'mores tarts. I know we haven't been able to go out and have our summer barbecues and camping trips and all of the things we're used to doing, at least I haven't been able to, so I haven't really eaten s'mores at all this summer, but we're going to make some healthier s'mores tarts right at home so you can still get that delicious summer flavor one last time before we roll into some fall content, some autumn content, which get excited for because pumpkin season is coming and y'all know I'm a basic white bitch and I make all the pumpkin things. I'm going to grab all the ingredients and we'll get started. For this recipe, you're going to need for the crust oats, any kind of nuts. I'm using pecans and walnut, dates, cinnamon, salt. For the filling, you're going to need avocados, cocoa powder, vanilla extract, and agave. And we'll also add a little pinch of salt. And then for the top, we're going to use these Dandy's mini marshmallows. These this brand is vegan, they're big marshmallows or they're little ones, but we're just going to be using the little ones today. And you're also going to need either a big tart pan if you want to make a big tart, or mini tart pans. I'm going to be making mini ones. So first we're going to make a crust, so I'm going to set all this aside. And we're going to add all of our crust ingredients to the food processor, crumble it up until it holds together for a nice crust. So we're probably going to need to add a little bit of water to this crust to help it hold together, but we're going to add that in a tablespoon at a time as we need it. To make things easier, I'm going to put the tart pans on a big pan just so I can move them around as one. Cool, they fit, awesome. All right. Just evenly distribute the crust between your tart pans or if you're making one big one, you can just pour all of it into your big pan, into your big mold and press it together. If you wet your hands, it'll make it not stick to your hands as you press down. Once you have the crust ready, we're going to set this aside and make the filling. Now we're going to make the filling in the food processor, so I'm not going to wash it. I'm just going to continue using it. For the filling, again, we're just going to add everything into the food processor, process it up. So, got my avocados. These are super soft and they're starting to turn a little bit brown on the inside, but that's okay. Because we're gonna mix cocoa powder into them and that just means we're gonna have a nice soft filling. Ooh, this one had a very tiny seed. Love that. Too much. 
touch to it. in each of these charts. marshmallows into the chocolate. So if you are making these ahead of time for a party or something, barbecue, something like that, wait to put the marshmallows on until the day of the party until you take them out of the fridge because the marshmallows will get kind of dry and weird in the fridge um, these vegan marshmallows tend to dry out a bit more than regular marshmallows i've noticed them on in any kind of pattern or you can lay them nicely. I've kind of just done both of those. These are kind of just everywhere and then these are like nicer placement. Now it's time for fire. These torches are really cheap. You can pick one up off of Amazon for like 20 bucks. And it's a great thing to have in the kitchen to help make things like this just incredible. These marshmallows catch fire really quick, actually. Thought they would expand more before they caught fire. If you have a sensitive smoke alarm, do this outside. I used to set the smoke alarm off in our old apartment all the time. I've yet to set it off in this one. Cross our fingers that I can keep that going. It kept going off when I would use the air fryer for some reason. Burn it a little less if you like your marshmallows a little less toasty. I like them just a little bit burnt. Okay. 
and hold your fire further away if you don't want them to get as toasty. And keep the fire going so it doesn't burn, that's why I keep moving it.